This next piece has a little story to it. It's called St. Melangeth, and that's spelled M-E-L-A-N-G-E-L-L. -L. It looks like it would be pronounced St. Melangel, but in the Welsh pronunciation would be pronounced St. Melangeth. Uh, very interesting story behind this piece of music. In uh, Gwynedd in Wales um, is a little shrine uh, to this 7th century saint known as Saint Melangeth. Um, it's, it's a wonderful spiritual place. I was very, very lucky to have visited there. It's nestled in the mountains. It's miles and miles of a one-lane road uh, to get there, but it is one of the most peaceful, otherworldly shrines I've ever been to in my entire life. Um, the story behind Saint Melangeth is that uh, she uh, came from Ireland and settled in this little spot in Wales. And one day the Prince of Powys was out hunting for hare and he was chasing a hare and uh, in order to escape danger, the hare ran underneath St. Melangeth's cloak. Uh, so impressed was uh, the Prince of Powys by this um, act of the hare to hide behind St. Melangeth. He then bequeathed um, uh, this land where the shrine to this day still stands. I was talking to a friend of mine uh, by the name of Carol Wood. Carol Wood is a, not only a harpist, but she's also a retired professor of medieval studies. And I was telling her about uh, the shrine at St. Melangeth, and it inspired her to write this piece for me. Um, it is in what you like, very similar to what you just heard, put in a theme and variations uh, setting, which is very typical of a lot of Welsh music. Um, <clears throat> this piece, though, is based on an original chant, um, kind of like a plain chant. Um, it's something that has a, a very, very calming spiritual atmosphere to it, very much related to the shrine of St. Malamgeth itself. So I'm very pleased to bring to you today a premiere of a work for soul harp in honor of St. Melangath by Carol Wood.
Thank you.